In this video, we will be dealing with the construction of a 3 hour unit hydrograph from a 6 hour unit hydrograph using S hydrograph method. It is included in the Water Source Engineering Module 2 of Civil Engineering of Kerala Technological University. First, let us discuss the theory behind constructing a unit hydrograph of a different duration using S curve method. If we want to develop a unit hydrograph of duration MD from a unit hydrograph of given duration D, where M is an integer, we can use the method of superposition, that is when M is equal to 2, 3, 4, etc. But if we want to develop a unit hydrograph of duration MD from a unit hydrograph of duration D, when M is not an integer, we cannot apply the method of superposition, that is here we use S curve method. Here M is not equal to 2, 3, 4, etc. That is m will be a decimal that is can be less than 1 also that is it can be 1.5 or sorry 0 0.5 0 0.6 or it can be uh, 1.5 2.3 likewise then m is not a decimal we use a curve method and we know that s curve is a curve of continuous rainfall at a constant rate for an infinite period Now we are going to deal with the numerical problem of construction of a shorter period hydrograph from a given hydrograph. That is, we will be going to construct a unit hydrograph duration MD from a unit hydrograph of duration D and when M is less than 1. That is, M is not an integer. So we will be using S curve method and here M is less than 1. That is, here in the next problem that we are going to deal with, we are given a 6 hour unit hydrograph and we will be going to construct a 3 hour unit hydrograph. So here 6 is given so m into it is here m is equal to 1 by 2 that is md md equal to 3 that is 1 by 2 into 6 so our m here is less than 1 that is equal to 0 0.5. So here we will be using S curve method to derive the hydrograph. So let us move on to the question. First, in this numerical problem, we have a six hour unit hydrograph ordinates are given. We have to derive the S curve ordinates and derive the ordinates of a three hour unit hydrograph from the data given for a six hour unit hydrograph. So first we have this red color tables uh, uh, columns of the table are given in the question and remaining we will be deriving so first we have to construct the s curve ordinate so i have done a video previously for finding out an s curve ordinates from a given unit hydrograph so we will be using the same procedure here also that is by lagging the given hydrograph with its own unit duration until the it reaches the last row of the data that is 42 so here we will be lagging the unit hydrograph first by 6 hours that is by starting the data or writing the 6 hour unit hydrograph ordinates from 6 downwards so that is 0 comes here 9 comes here 35 then 43 similarly simply write the data downwards starting from 6 then lag by 12 over that is start at the row of 12 and write the 6 hour ordinates downwards starting from 12 then for 18 hour write the data starting from 18 then starting from 24 30 36 and 42 so as we can see here the zero or the first the first value of the six hour ordinates have reached the last row that is corresponding to 42 so we can stop the lagging there now we are going to sum the values horizontally that is simply sum all the columns that is from 2 to 9 we will be getting the 10th column that is 0, 9, 20, 44, etc. That is 35 plus 49 plus 20 plus 0 will be 104. Then 3 plus 9 plus 17 plus 28 plus 20, 43 plus 35 plus 9 will give you 144, etc. So this is our required S hydrograph ordinates. Now look at the duration of the required hydrograph that is 3 hours. So we will be lagging the S curve ordinates by 3 hours that is the duration of the required hydrograph. So lag the s curve s hydrograph lagged by three hours that is simply start the data of s curve ordinates from the row of three that is zero comes here nine goes downwards and simply continue the data downwards until 42 
so that is a s curve ordinates lagged by 3 hours now we are going to find out the difference curve that is by subtracting 11 from 10 that is column number 11 from column number 10 that is 12 is equal to difference between column number 10 and 11 that is 0 9 minus 0 then 104 minus 87 equal to 17 115 minus 104 equal to 11 132 minus 126 equal to 6 etc so this is a difference curve and finally we will be obtaining the required 3 hour hydrograph ordinates using the equation 13th column that is a required 3 hour hydrograph ordinates is equal to column number 12 that is a difference column multiplied by t1 by t2 where t1 is a given duration or duration of the given hydrograph and t2 is a duration of the required hydrograph here that is 12 into t1 is 3 uh, t1 is 6 that is a duration of given hydrograph divided by 3 that is the duration of duration of required hydrograph that is equal to column number 12 into 2 so that is difference column multiplied by 2 that is 9 into 2 24 into 2 11 into 2 etc so this is our this last column is a data required or the that is a ordinates of a 3 hour unit hydrograph that we have derived from a 6 hour unit hydrograph so let us move on to the curves so these are the curves of the given question that is the, we have derived a 3 hour unit hydrograph from a 6 hour unit hydrograph so first as we can see this green line is a 6 hour unit hydrograph so see this is a 6 hour unit hydrograph shown as a green curve now after that we lag the green uh, a 6 hour unit hydrograph by 6 hours then 12 hours then 18 hours 24 hours 30 hours and 36 and 42 comes here so those are the lagged curves that is 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 and 7 also so anyway those are the lag curves then we summed up all these curves to find out the summation hydrograph that is this black line s curve so this is a summation hydrograph that is obtained by simply drawing a vertical line at any point and summing up the points of intersection coordinates so it's a coordinates of the points of intersection are summed up to obtain the corresponding coordinate of the s-curve now after that we have lagged the s-curve by the duration of the given hydrograph that is three hours this is this is a three hour lagged s-curve then after that we found out the difference curve that is this yellow line is a difference curve and finally we have multiplied it by t1 by t2 that is a 6 by 3 that is a duration of given unit hydrograph divided by duration of the required unit hydrograph that is to obtain the 3 hour unit hydrograph ordinates that is this white line this is a 3 hour unit hydrograph ordinates that was to be found out or asked in the question so thank you